Boom. What is up, Wanderers? We're back with another One Take Bag Review. Super excited to dive into this one with you. It is the Metro Runner from Green Room 136, and dang, it is a beauty. I'm so excited to talk to you about this bag. If you know this channel, you know this is my favorite maker, so I'm probably going to like this bag, right? So let's talk about um, this bag in the same way we do every single bag that we do on this channel. You know how we do it. We're gonna do a full walkthrough of the bag, inside and out, get into all the nooks and crannies of this bag. At the end of the walkthrough, we're gonna talk about two things that we love about the bag, two things not so much, and then an overall recommendation. Should you buy the Metro Runner from Green Room 136? Let's dive in. All right, so first up, the exterior of this bag. We've got a small morale patch um, zone. We've got some molly webbing on the front. You've got magnetic fidlock compression straps on both sides of the bag here. You have on the underside two hidden pockets. They are one on this side about yay deep and one on the other side that mirrors it. It does not pass through the center so if you have dreams of uh, putting like a tripod or a hiking pole through the center there's a, a, a stop right here. Uh, yeah, so two small pockets down at the bottom. You have a grab handle up top, padded if you opt for that, or if you get the uh, Prime version, that's what this is, the MCB Prime, Multicam Black Prime version of this bag. On the back, you have um, a really comfortable strap with uh, some attachment points, kind of looped attachment points, and a uh, really nice uh, robust buckle. There's multiple, as there are always with Green Room, multiple options for what you want to do with the strap. That's how it rides on my back. And I've been testing this for a while, and I'm excited to talk about the bag with you. So, what does it have going on as far as pockets? You've got two compartments of this bag. The first compartment is this front compartment. And it has in here, well, let me take out my blue light blocking glasses and my headband. And you can see there's an admin panel in here. It zips about, well, just short of full. It stops here and here, doesn't zip down to the edge. You have one big pocket, two pin size pockets, and another big pocket, um, and then a key fob. I've used it as an AirPods fob. And then you've got the entire front section here. It is kind of usable as a drop pocket. And the, old, the whole overall thing is in this uh, really nice gold color that Green Room uses for interiors of bags. Not as harsh as that orange that is so popular, um, but really nice high contrast interior. Now, main compartment. You can see that you've got a really usable midsection here. I've got battery backup in here, cords, headband, and then on the back side of the pocket, you have one big giant uh, iPad mini, not Nintendo Switch, iPad mini, maybe Kindle sized. I put an iPhone Plus in here, um, the slip pocket back here, and then another slip pocket here, um, which is uh, credit card sized. I put my SD cards in there. And then on the front, you have one, two, three pockets across the back. I've got my Osmo Pocket in there. I've got some spare cords in there and wallet and a little bit of cash in there. Um, but a pretty cavernous interior to this sling. All right, so those are the pockets. Remember, we had these secret underside pockets as well. You got some D-rings on the back as well that I forgot to mention. Sorry about that. Uh, the bag does come with these uh, paracord poles for the YKK zippers. Uh, honestly, they're just for visual appeal because the zippers themselves are plenty beefy and they all work really well. They are not waterproofed. These are not AquaGuard zippers. Uh, they're regular zippers. All right. So, and I should say the bag does not come with the carabiner. It does not come with this... Uh, um, kind of strap-on lightning cable accessory that I've attached to it, um, nor does it come with the morale patches. Okay, so let's talk about 
two things we really like about this bag. The first thing I really like about this bag is the interior storage. The pockets inside the main compartment, the one, two, three, four, five major pockets inside the main compartment, along with the one, two, three, four big pockets inside the admin panel section here, perfect. Uh, incredibly useful, um, and because there's not a ton of space between the top, how do I explain this adequately? Um, there's about, the pockets go up about three quarters of the way, uh, the inside of the bag in every section, which means that only about one quarter of the way is left at the top, which means that um, you don't have items flapping around and slipping out of their pockets inside the bag. They're tight enough to hold things in place, and that's been my experience walking around, going on hikes, and walking in cities with this bag. Uh, things stay where you put them, uh, which is really nice. The second thing that I really like about this bag is just how comfortable it is to use. So I've loaded this puppy up with all this stuff and my uh, gimbal as well. And, you know, my experience has been that it's incredibly easy to use. Sling on and off, pop on and off, uh, put right back on. Um, it, it is really, it sits in exactly the right place. It's plenty light material-wise. Um, the grab handle's very nice and in exactly the right spot. Yeah, so uh, actual usability of the sling, both due to form factor and the incredibly uh, just nice construction of the, the straps and handles themselves. So, a joy to use. Two things I don't like so much about the bag. There's always a couple. Okay, the first thing I don't like so much about the bag is these little pockets down here. Now, you may be saying to yourself, you know, why don't you like those little pockets? That seems like a neat idea. It's an awesome idea, like really awesome idea. I, I didn't even know these pockets existed until I got the bag. And I was thrilled that I was gonna have some quick access exterior pockets that were kind of hidden until I tried to actually use the pockets for any of the things that I would maybe want to use those pockets for. And the Velcro to close the pockets is about right here, and which means you have about this much space and still be able to close the pocket. And remember, you're slinging this bag around, and so you need to be able to close the pocket. So what can you use that pocket for? I haven't found anything yet, honestly. I couldn't use it for my Leatherman. I couldn't use it for a pocket knife. I couldn't use it for glasses. I mean, I guess I could toss one little headband in there, but maybe a, a really small cable. Maybe, maybe you could put a card in there. Not really. I, I don't know. I, th I feel like this is a missed opportunity. It, and it's if it didn't even exist, I wouldn't have a problem if this was just the bottom of the bag. But they put pockets there. And they just, the dimensions are so small that I don't know what I would use those pockets for effectively. So that's a bummer, um, but it's a bummer that I don't think I would even know about if they hadn't put it there, right? Um, the, the second piece is this, watch. What is that? What, what is happening here? What's happening here is the zipper gets hung up on this really thick band of the key carabiner. Um, so that is something that I have noticed in using the bag. Doesn't happen every time, right? See, didn't happen that time. But very frequently when I go to use this front pocket or go to zip this front pocket shut, it catches on the fabric of the key carabiner. He, he, again, not a huge deal, but enough for it to annoy me when I'm trying to use the bag when I'm out and about. Okay, so let's talk about this thing overall. This is again the Metro Runner. This is in Prime um, with the Multicam Black, the gold interior, all the doodads, all the whiz bang. It, it, it's all dudded out. Um, it's a limited edition, but they still got plenty of them. So you can still go get this bag. Uh, should you buy it? Should you buy this bag? unequivocally yes with making sure that you were going in eyes wide open because what you're not going to use this bag for is a tablet this is an 11 inch ipad pro so 
you are not putting an iPad Pro or an iPad, regular sized iPad, with or without the case, into this bag. I, you can almost zip it, but that is with your, your very expensive iPad having no protection at all. So, this is not a tablet carry case, this is a um, kind of a city walk case. Uh, I use this when I'm uh, shooting videos for my other channel, when I'm out and about, I used it on hikes. Um, really, really effective, nice, light carry bag, and I really enjoyed having it. So, I highly recommend this maker, I highly recommend this bag, and I highly recommend that you watch my other videos about Green Room 136 bags where I dive a little bit more into the process of how to order the bags, what to expect when buying something from overseas, how long the process will take and everything. I welcome any other questions you have about this bag or buying from Green Room 136 in particular. Um, I consider myself a uh, Somewhat of an expert now, I've bought a lot of bags from this company now. Uh, this is my fourth green room bag, um, not counting my knickknack bags, in which case, you, you know, we're up to double digits. But guys, thank you so much. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I enjoyed talking through this bag with you. If you did, please leave a like. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you're alerted when new reviews hit. Um, and everybody, thanks for continuing to support the channel. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.